Hey, 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 yo, what up? This is Anders, and yeah, you're tuned in to yeah. Ones to Watch Northside Sessions. Yeah. 150 racks, a new set of keys. No, this ain't no cat, this ain't no make believe. What? I'm from the north where we believe. Before I made a check, I stacked a hundred G's. Oh, yeah, trap money, no credit. Told her I got cash, I don't need no debit. I was young, I was caught up in it. Now the money clean, I ain't got no limit. I got. Daddy, daddy, baddy, baddy, she calling me daddy. What? Perkins, hold up, slow up, hold up, blow up. Louis on my show. All these diamonds on me, they ain't turning green. See me getting money, now they rocking with the team. I put down the alcohol instead, I'm sipping. Came up off of fiends. Did it for the cream, now I got a lot of bad habits. Bad habits, bad habits. Still at it, still at it, still at it. Bad habits, bad habits, bad habits, bad habits. I know it's wrong. She said you and shit, you think you all that Girl, put down your feelings need to fall back. I say low-key in the club, dressing oh, oh. Told them bring more bottles Call up for the wheel, told them bring more bottles I ain't with the grand shit, don't need no They gon' let me smash and they all go Whip it like it's on and hit the gas full throttle I fell out of love, then my heart turned hollow Can't none of these bitches ever save me Half of me is all I'm giving all these diamonds on me, they ain't turning green See me getting money, now they rocking with the team I put down the alcohol instead, I'm sipping lean Came up off of fiends, did it for the cream Now I got a lot of bad habits, bad habits, bad habits Still at it, still at it, still at it Bad habits, bad habits, bad habits, bad habits, bad habits. I know it's wrong, I can't help it cause I'm still at it Still at it, still at it Bad habits, bad habits, bad habits, bad habits I'm still at it Hey Toronto, make some fucking noise. I got one more for y'all. Hold on. I first got my start in music. Uh, it was maybe a little over two years ago, um, and it, it was just originally just an idea uh, that I had. You know, maybe I should make music. People told me you should try making music, but I never really took it seriously until uh, I guess you know life was just taking unexpected turns. And I, I needed to find something else to do to keep me out of trouble. I remember having a conversation with Mo. He's somewhere in here, but he asked me like, what, "What's your, what would you be happy with like in a year?" And I remember telling him at the time like, I had no music out, and I told him like I, I don't know maybe like fifty thousand plays in a year. I'd be I'd be happy. Um, but yeah, we 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 put out the music, and then we didn't have any you no know, marketing or, or none of that. It was just kind of like we just uploaded it. And it, it, it took a little time, but as it was catching on, it kept it kept growing and growing. And it was kind of crazy to see, but it was also like, you know, like I said earlier, when you start realizing, you know, and taking it more serious and serious, it's because you see that reception and you see like, hey, people actually listen to this. People actually like are, are watching and they care. So it's definitely, it was surreal in the beginning, um, but I, I always keep my head screwed on. I don't get too excited about stuff. Working with Loud Luxury is, is cool. They're super cool guys. They're friends first and foremost. Um, but yeah, when they when they you know originally came to me with the idea to do a song, I remember like Body didn't even take off yet their big song, so it was kind of all really fresh. And then as we're working on it, like Body just took off, and we were still finishing up ours. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's definitely you know one of my biggest songs if not the biggest one. Um, and uh, yeah, working with them has been a blessing. It's just opened many doors. I learned so much. Um, they're great people and wouldn't have any, done it any other way. The Road to the Phoenix was a documentary we put together, um, kind of documenting the days leading up to my first show. We did it at the Phoenix on May 22nd. Um, and that, I guess it was a big deal for me because I never did a performance yet, ever. Um, so, you know, doing it the first time in front of 1,500 people was kind of a big deal. So uh, it just kind of, yeah, was just outlining what I, what I went through, like my mind state. Um, like if you watch the documentary, like I, I remember I stopped smoking, I went vegan, I was like rehearsing. Um, 
And it was just like, you know, it showed a lot of what, what the team does behind just the music because there's a lot more that goes into it, a lot more work and a lot of minds that go into it. And the Road to Phoenix just kind of, you know, shines a light on, on more than what, you know, uh, an average person would just see. Being independent is a challenge because I don't, I don't have necessarily all the resources um, and, and connections that, you know, um, someone that's plugged in would. But that, that kind of puts the fun in it too because you kind of, you know, got to like carve the way rather than having like something just, you know, laid out for you. Um, I don't know, I guess being, being a minority in the music, in music, like being Asian would be somewhat of a challenge, it's somewhat of a plus sometimes, but also a challenge, a bit of both. Um, and just overall, like learning the process, ha not having anyone show me what it is, like having to learn everything, how to do things, how to, like how to put on a show. We didn't know how to put on a show, we just like are watching other shows, like what do people do? How do we put on a show? You figure it out, right? Um, yeah, all these things are like just like little challenges that you have to face. I think Toronto's sick. You have so much like talent, so many good artists, um, and it pushes me to see. It kind of there's just so much in Toronto where it's like if you if you take a break, you're gonna fall behind. So I, I, I like Toronto. I just want to be an artist that's just able to just freely express myself, not you know have he does this or he does that. Um, you know, I kind of do that in my music already. I don't make one, one type of music or one, you know, a certain style per se. I just kind of do whatever I want, whatever I'm feeling. And, you know, I want to kind of keep that going, not fit into any mold or, or you know, be typecast in a certain type of music. just want to be an artist in general. Like, people always ask, are you a singer, are you a rapper? I don't, I don't even really know what to say, right? Because I don't feel like I'm any of them. Um, but yeah, just, just to be able to just be like an artist openly without any expectation. Expect more music, more shows, and just, you know, leveling up. <laughs>